Hey, what up YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Honey, to you. I just wanted to talk about a few things. Yeah, first things first, man, I changed my substrate. I uh, went with some uh, white gravel. Left some of the black gravel in there. Because the black was too dark, the white is too white. Got some brown gravel over here. And by the time it's all mixed together, it should be the right mix. Actually, the white really shows off my dragon blood, man. It brings out some blue in him and yeah, makes him look a lot better. So hopefully, it'll be the right mix for everybody. Got some new fish, man. Got that Afra. It's breaking out good. Got, uh, of course, my sunshine. The German red. Picked up a new sunshine. Uh, Maleri. Isle, Mallory Isle, Banshee, couldn't pass him up, uh, I got a Hongi Jacob Frey, I can't even pronounce it, he's, he's hiding somewhere in the back, but anyway enough about the gravel, enough about the substrate, I'm here to talk to you because um, a while back I posted a video called Lessons Learned, I talked about my battles with Ick, and the outcome of those battles, fish loss and all that good stuff. Well, I didn't talk about what I've learned, actually learned from the battles of Vic. Uh, it wasn't until my boy, uh, let me show you how to stunt, posted one, and he brought up a good point. But first things first. You know, with Ic, at 86.5 degrees, it's supposed to stop reproducing. Uh, with that said, theoretically, in 10 days, you should be rid, rid of ick. At 89.5 degrees, it kills ick. Do that for four days if your fish can tolerate it. Then you drop down to 86.5 for the remainder of the 10, another six days, and you should be ick free. Of course, when you do that, definitely provide more aeration. You need more air, more oxygen for these fish. Um, now, Learning that and knowing it now, a little salt don't help. It helps heal, heal the wounds and cleans the gills. Also a uh, UV. My oh boy, let me show you how the stunt talked about that. I got one, been having one, and it works. But he brought up a good point. And it's just to show you, the man knows his stuff, man. You look at his tanks, they're self-explanatory. But he talked about micron filtration. Now, free-swimming ick is what contaminates the fish. It's what's got to be treated. That's when it's vulnerable. Free swimming ick is 30 microns. If you do micron filtration down to one micron, it traps the free swimming ick. It's just another way to help get it out of the water, along with water changes and vacuuming your gravel, at least 25% daily for 10 days. But I did install micron filtration relatively cheap and uh, it is a water polisher you don't only need to use it for ick but uh, let me show you the package it came in tell you more about it how much it cost and let me show you this clear water all right here's your micron filtration aqua clear quick filter power head attachment it is designed to attach to an AquaClear power head, obviously. But if you like me, you will figure a way to match it to the power head you have. The power head I have it on is not an AquaClear power head, but I got it on there. This does one micron filtration. It is relatively inexpensive. Uh, the replacement pads is just a little sock filter on the inside. I'll show you. That's only about two or three bucks. And uh, for me, come on, for ten bucks, actually for nine dollars, you get micron filtration. And uh, for another three bucks, you can replace the sock. Now it's gonna get dirty fast because man, it clears your water. Let me walk over here and show you. All right, now I'm looking at the tank long ways. Through the, through the side and uh, I gotta tell you man it's only been running for about a half an hour but dude 
it's clear. Of course, the camera don't do it justice. When all those bubbles I got floating around, it looks like it's dirty, but uh, take my word for it, man. It is crystal. I'm going to go on the other side see if you can't see something through it, but let me show you real quick. This is the canister that comes in. You just unscrew that top. And you got a little sock with a little plastic sleeve on the inside with tiny, tiny holes. Tiny, tiny holes. That's your one micron filtration. The sock gets dirty, you clean the plastic tube and reuse it. It's that simple, man. It pops in. That's it, and it pops onto your power head. Micron filtration for 10 bucks, and you get crystal clear water. All right, I'm on the other side of the tank. That's my micron. Look, man, that's my, my uh, glass cleaner, my algae cleaner on the other side of the tank, dude. Freaking amazing. That's my power head on the other side. That's right, this. That is some clear, clear water. Right. My Oscar, yeah, he's moving soon. Got a new home for him. Okay, see how I pull the eye. Oh, my little hungies out in the There he is. Oh, there he is. Hongi Jacob. Probably something like I can't pronounce it. Come on, man, spin. There you go. That's my boy. Somebody got him on the tail. Look at that. Yeah, you know, my boy, let me show you how to stunt. Talked about that micron filtration. And I talked to my other friend, MS1TEA2. Miss one T two. We talked about uh, if you don't have a quarantine tank, things you can do. You know, you frequent these local fish stores. You know what's coming in. Talk to the managers. Talk to the owners. What have they gotten in? What they have not gotten in? Check all the fish. See if they got ick. If they don't have ick, and they haven't gotten anything in in a while, week and a half, uh, that fish has got a good chance that it does not have ick. You know, you raise your heat to 86.5 degrees before you add the fish, a couple of days before. And uh, when you get them in, you acclimate them, take some tank water and kind of bathe them in tank water before you actually introduce them to the tank. It's just kind of some of the ways that help reduce or limit your exposure to ick. Yeah, so you get a chance, man. Check out, let me show you how to stunt. And uh, Miss 1T2. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, I'll have it posted up on the, on the, in the description. Thanks.